Yes, uh, I learned about admission uh, some time ago. Uh, I was in a program not far from here, but this is my first time entering the mission. Life was full of poor decision making, low self-esteem, homelessness, degradation, unmotivated, I had no direction, no purpose. Since I got here, the list of people that have been willing to help me has been endless. But I must say that my biggest support, the, big, the one person that really just stuck out most is myself because I made a, a conscious decision to do something about the way that I was living. You know, my mother had always taught me when you get tired of something, you'll do something about it. You know, I was tired of going to prison. I was tired of sleeping in backyards. You know, I was tired of having to run and hide and duck police and everybody else. So now I was on the wall, so my thought was, what do you do? Do you sink or do you swim? I decided to swim. I decided I chose life. So here's where I came. I was introduced to the Lord at an early age. You know, my mother had told me once that no matter where I might find myself in life, when there was nobody else to call, I can call on Jesus. And I found myself one day in such a place. And I called on him, and he heard me. He opened a lot of doors for me that I thought were like nailed shut. Since I've been here at the Miami Rescue Mission, I've, I have hope now. The Miami Rescue Mission has given me not only hope, but opportunity. Like I said, I came here with no direction and with no purpose. Today, I have successfully completed the requirements of the Miami Rescue Mission. I'm now enrolled in Miami Dade Junior College, and I'm going after a certificate in addiction studies. Hoping, not hoping, but after completing that course, I want to further my education and go as far as I can go so that my life will take the pain away of some of those that I've hurt, including myself. I would say, talk to God and, you know, and learn to trust God and to lean not unto your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he'll direct your path like he's directed mine. And to understand that there's nothing stronger than what you believe about yourself. You know, it's like anybody can walk the walk with you, but can't nobody walk the walk for you. Yes, to um, not beat yourself up, give yourself a chance, because you know, you see me today, I have on a clean shirt and a tie. It wasn't always like that. I was in a position where nobody wanted to be around me. I didn't want to be around myself. But I gave God a chance. He reached way down. He picked me up. He cleaned me up. He put me on some solid ground. And I thank God and those that he's put in my life to help me to see what I couldn't see. My name is Norbert. This is my story. Thank you for watching Overcomers TV. Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us.